Hello everyone, this is Burning Stone of the Lotro Gamers, finally back for another episode of the Lotro Loremaster walkthrough. So, first things first. I had something wrong happen with my uh, computer, or the last time I tried recording, something happened to the footage, and basically in that episode i went from here in the prancing pony okay and we accepted strider's quest so you're just gonna have to do this you have to trust me okay you go past adso's camp he tells you to go talk to langlin and you go past adso's camp down this road here and right about up here somewhere this is camp it's a turn off on the road that curves up into the mountain here like this and then he tells you to go to Buckland right here, and you go about down here in Buckland, and you fight these ravens and defend this hobbit, and then it tells you to go back to Langland, you go back to Langland, and then it tells you to go all the way back to the Prancing Pony to talk to Strider. So that was what I did last episode, so do not, oh my gosh, okay, do not forget to do that, okay? Um, very important. I'm really curious as to why my computer's doing this. Hold on. Okay, not sure why it was doing that. I Another news, I just got and upgraded my PC rig. I'm running now a hex core clocked out at 3.5 gigahertz. It seems that the uh, FPS is stable. Why isn't it stable? Maybe it's one second here. Okay. I just had it run at a lower FPS. Okay, okay, yeah, it's way better now. Okay. Cool, okay. So, um, and then I got 8 gigs of RAM. So, we shouldn't have any more, um, hiccups in, uh, FPS or anything. We should have smooth sailing. Then we go back and we talk to Strider. And we will go... And he says to talk to Tom Bombadil. But if you look, the um, quest is yellow, which means it's for level 18. And we're level... What is that? What is even that sound? It sounds like there's glitches in the, um, in the, the music. It's making this really weird scratching noise. Anyway, um, so this is about my second time playing this since I got my new rig. I know I need to get back into this. I, it's summer break for me. All I have to do is work, so I should be able to get videos up at least twice a week for this channel. I created another channel for Dark Souls, but that's a completely different story and not really necessary. Um... For everybody to know. Um, another news in Lotro. Uh, Pelennor Fields was just released. The Battle of Minas Tirith. Uh, or the Battle in the Fields outside Minas Tirith. And there are Mumakil in the game now. Which I'm sort of jealous. Because I have not fought one yet. And they look amazing. Like we're talking. Okay. I'm sure some of you have higher level characters than what you're watching me play. And there's you've probably been up to four and in four of shell there's the um there's the uh the mammoths. And jeez, what is up with one second here. Okay, sorry about that, it just wasn't loading. Um so as you can see, it looks... Wow, my bear is small. Um, the graphics look pretty good on this new rig, not gonna lie. Runs fairly smooth. Um, anyway, like I was saying... Um, oh, and when you're traveling to Adso's camp, don't forget to talk to the stable master, because we're gonna end up... Because we're two levels under, we're gonna do Adso's camp uh, next. Anyway, like I was saying, if you've been up in Foroshell you will see mammoths up there. 
and the mammoths, um, they're about as tall as that house there. You know, so not bad. You know, average sized, um, large enemy. Um, but the Moomakill are about, from where I'm standing to, I'd say, about there. So they're big. They're they're really big. I would almost even say if they had something on their backs, like one of those uh, tent kind of things, they'd probably be about as tall as, uh, tall as that banner there. So, and I don't know exactly how much health they have. Probably around 400k. Um, what can I do for you? So yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, level cap was raised to 105. So we're going to want to take a uh, travel to Adso's camp. Hopefully my computer doesn't freak out on the way there. As I jinx it. Oh well, it's the fastest way to go, so... I'm sure once I start using some skills, it'll lag for just a little bit, but then things should clear out. And, uh, I mean, if I have to, I'll, um, lower some settings inside, um, fraps. I'm actually, I'm gonna stop the video until I get there, and then resume it. Alright, so now we're at Adso's camp. We gotta start doing some quests here. My cat is trying to destroy me. Um... Let's close out of that real fast. Um, so here's Adso Haybank. We My got our first quest you. from him. We have to either bring a satchel to Bill Fernie by night or ring the bell to summon Fernie or his assistant. Okay, and then we have... Oh, that's the only quest so far. Okay, so we're going to get on a horse. And we're going to travel to that house there. The graphics look so good. I just wish that Fraps didn't take so much uh, processing power. Um, I really probably, if I am going to upgrade my computer again, I'm going to get another, gra a better graphics card. And I have a really good one, like, normally I don't have this problem. Okay, so we're gonna ring the doorbell. Here's, here's Bill Fernie. This is intolerable! Talk to him. I'm gonna go ahead and summon my bear again. I'm gonna try and have, um, a skirmish or instance walk through here pretty soon or some kind of I want to do a raid I really want to get people together to do a Dragok raid because that would be so fun to record but like they haven't scaled it yet so not really a lot of people are into doing something that's Hello. way below their level um, so we leveled up we got um, more trade slots we got a D completed completed the unscathed um, so let me see yep we got another point available so let's see here we can either get holy cow that particle effect just killed my computer okay so we can either go uh, get go for the throat um, critical pet critical chance Pet morale, minus incoming damage, so tankiness on the pet, uh, damage on the pet. We can get a lesser giant eagle, or we can get a skill called inner flame to heal both power and uh, morale for the thing. I'm going to get the eagle, friend, because I think that is amazing. So we got our eagle. We're going to put our eagle here. And let's summon eagle friend. Cool, so we have our lesser giant eagle. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and rename him. Okay. We're going to call him Tiny Feather Tim. Cool. And he gives us this buff, Nobility, In Combat, Power Regen. Cool. All Please, right. stay a moment. 
So we're going to accept this from him, down payments. And he also has, let's see. Fan the flames. Deals damage, fire damage. Target is drained of 88. So we got a life steal. And we have sacrifice. Okay. Going to accept the quest from Roger Hawkling. And we're going to accept the quest from Buckley Shepherd. Could I speak with you a moment? All right, so we've got to... Which quest is this for? Oh, okay, Dogwoods Farm. Okay. So we have these four quests, or five quests here. Okay. Let's do this one first, get that out of the way. Yeah. Not sure how much damage this eagle's gonna do, but I'm going to have to go on my dwarven character, the jeweler, and he can create what's called uh, pet tomes. And these pet tomes I can consume and basically get a altered version of this eagle friend thing. And the altered version makes it look different. So we could have a blood raven kind of uh yeah we gotta have a blood raven we could have a frost eagle we could have a black or a polar bear um yeah no we could do all sorts of stuff with this with these animals um i wonder what the next animal is we get prepare for war party diet don't you touch him Feral, Sikkim. So what's the... Let's see, what's the other path here? Okay. Alright, so... I was gonna look and see what the other animals were for the different uh, paths. But it doesn't look like you get any in this one. And then you don't get any in this one. So wait, what's the... Did they take out the lynx? They must have taken out the lynx. That's interesting. Or, I don't... I know they didn't take out the lynx. They got... You can get that somehow. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I also looked... I equipped some virtue traits just because, um... I have not gotten into those yet so let's see what she or tiny feather tim can do here oh my gosh i love it <laughs> first attack freaking critical oh my gosh look at these crits dude that's three crits in a row Oh my gosh, these crits. I love this. Okay, we found a strange medallion. Cool. So that we didn't need to go too far into that. Uh, what does that skill do again? Okay. So yeah, we didn't have to go too far into that. So just because I haven't, you know, done a lot of videos and i know i should be keeping up with that and so i'll do one i'll finish one more quest here we'll do the supplies and demands so you get we have to collect coin purses and workers tools and so uh Man, I don't know what happened with the particle effects on that. Normally, it's way, way better. Let's see what this skill does. Oh my gosh, it just frickin' makes them blow up. Ah. 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 
Dude, I have loved this. Freaking lightning. Holy shoot, I'm almost dead. What's going on? Sacrifice. Give me. Give you to me. What is going on? Why was I on such low health? She's a health potion. Alright. So I should be okay now. He must have to be in combat to sacrifice himself to me. So let's see here. What do we have? We only need to kill two more of the brigands. Cool, okay. Cool, so we finished those two quests. Fairly easy. Um, and then the only other one we have to do is collect boar heads, which are just around over there in the fields. Well, I think that's going to be all for this episode. I don't remember the number of what this episode is, but I will put it up on the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.